Today I'll be teaching you about um, using a drop down table selection and send uh, data right inside of the database. Right, okay, so I have here an index uh, page which has a currency type and it has a, a currency amount. So you can choose uh, what kind of amount you like. So here I have a, um, for this tutorial, I have a BIF, a Burundian currency, I have a TZS, Tanzanian a shilling, and I have a, a ZR, South African money, and I have a UGS, Uganda shilling, I have a pound, and I have US dollar here. So if I pick US dollar here, from the drop down and let's say amount uh, 200 and if I add submit button here it should send right inside the database so let's check my table in the database so here this is my table and I've named my table a demo I have a column currency amount and column currency symbol for so this is for this symbol and this column is for the amount so at the moment I have a, a BIF uh, 500 there, it's a Bruno Frank 500. I also have a, a Great British Pound 200. I have a Uganda Shilling 50 a Shilling there. Now if I select Submit there, a new record has been added successful. Let's go in the database. I refresh this database. We will see. US dollar 200 there so I have 200 US dollar there it's been added yeah now let's uh, choose another currency uh, let's add a uh, uh, South African money so there so we say South African money we say uh, 150 and submit we'll check our refresh our table there's 150 of South African money and let's add another grid British pound go back again let's uh, choose a grid British pound let's say 1500 submit added in the database let's refresh our table in the database and we see 150 um, 1500 Great British Pound added, and we have here a date and time of this uh, uh, transaction. Okay, so let's go now on the coding side. Let's go now to the coding side, play with the code. Okay, so I have uh, an index uh, file here. And uh, I have a submit file, so this will be our drop down, and that will be our uh, connection to the database and our script or our code. All right, let's let's do it. <clears throat> with a HTML this is a standard HTML5 uh, tag uh, HTML <coughs> tag and uh, here we define our, our body tag all right okay very simple ABC here we close our body also we close our HTML there perfect okay let's add here our label and we'll call our label we'll call it current amount 
Travis amount. Right. And right before our closing tag, we add our input type there. And we'll call it name. Okay. And here we call it currency amount. All lowercase. Yeah. Let's add a class here. And the attribute will be also current. Okay, current amount is close there. Okay. So we have a a current amount label there, and we have an input. So name and attribute is current current amount and class. Equal attribute also is current amount. Okay, so let's add uh, after the closing there, let's add a placeholder for current. Say placeholder is equal to this. Yeah, that's our placeholder. Okay. If we go on the our browser and uh, let's add here index and this will just be current amount. That's what we have just done there. Okay. Let's add a select tag. Name and our attributes, and we're gonna call it this one will be current currency. Uh, let's put an underscore and put symbol current symbol. This is our current symbol and class is equal to the same attribute there. Current symbol. Okay. That's all we need to do there. So close this. And let's come here. Close our selects as well. Right. Okay. So here I add an option tag. Let's add a label. Close a label tag. <clears throat> and here we say please. Choose a current. Okay. Right. Okay. That's fine. So we come down here then. We'll close this option first. tag value there the say the attribute to be this will be our default currents 
So with a BIF, that's, that's for Burundian currents, and then we add a placeholder there. Um, so placeholder is equal to uh, there. Then we select it. Yeah, because this is a default, and we add currents. Close there. Let me just send it down here. Right after that, we just copy this and we add for the rest of the currents. Okay. Okay. That's our placeholder there. And so there's a bond in franc. Uh, you add Tanzania shilling there, uppercase shilling, and Tanzania shilling there. Okay, we had this will be South African Rand, there's South African Rand there. This will be the shilling, and the shilling there. Okay, let's add another one down here. Uh, it should be US dollar, or we'll just put this as a big. British pound. Uh, so British pound, and uh, let's add our symbol there. Okay, and uh, let's add another one, which will be US dollar there. So USA and uh, currency be US dollar. Here. Right, so we have, uh, let's, uh, let's set this. All right, so let's run in the browser. You can see now that we have our currents there. But we need to have a Burundi franc as our selected. So let's remove this. At the moment, we specify all the currents as a default. Now we just want the top one to be a default. <clears throat> okay. And now let's save this. Let's go back, run this, and we see Burundian currents is the default there. Okay. That's good. Let's finish this. This coding at the moment we don't have a button so let's add a button there so right after the option there uh, let's go down after the selector so let's push this up <clears throat> okay let's add this code and we say input Type, we say is equal to submit. That will be the name of uh, submit. And uh, say name is equal the attribute to be submit as well. Let's add a class there. They say the attribute to be. Let's just add next. Okay, we're done. Save this. Let's go back on, on our index page, refresh, and we see we have a button. At the moment, the button doesn't do anything. As you can see, it doesn't do anything. We need to add something else. Okay, let's go at the top. Right after the body tag, let's add a, a 
perform action. Let's add the submits PHP. That's the name of our uh, submit uh, file. And uh, let's add a method. Give him as a post there. Okay. We are all set. Now, every time we click this submit button, it's going to link with a submit file that is going to send our data into the database. So if I click this, okay, let me see what's happening there. Okay, let me close this form. Okay. So close this form there. Okay, let's save. Refresh. Now you see. If I click the button, it's linking right into the or a script that is gonna send our data into the database. Okay, so let's add the script.